Hello and welcome to NHL Best Bets. Yesterday, Tampa Bay Lightning show why they are a champion right now and why they want to be back-to-back champion. Um, they won quite convincingly uh, 8-0. New York Islanders um, game was pretty much as predicted. Tampa bounced back from the a road loss and um, Steven Stamkos uh, got his uh, aim to the correct places. So both picks correct and uh, nice green results. Tommy, yeah. what's your take? <laughs> it was uh, it was exactly as expected, except for the score. So nobody expected it to happen uh, with eight goals, but we knew that Tampa Bay is going to bounce back, play better, and now their system worked so well under um, against Islanders that there was nothing Islanders could have done. They started uh, okay, but Tampa Bay scored goals in their pretty much their three first chances. Uh, the game was all but over at that point. There is not no way any team can come back against Lightning when they take a four nothing, three nothing lead. So uh, that was a was a great game from Tampa Bay. Steven Stamkos led the way, two goals and assist. Uh, this time we could have bet the goal, just took the points, but uh, we take what we can get a nice green result overall, and very much as expected. Now it is in Tampa's hands completely. So a second win will will win this series as well. Yeah, uh, right now it looks like um, Tampa has clear upper hand here. They have um, great momentum behind them and also statistics um, backing up the victory. Um, I think we predicted uh, this series to go in uh, five or, or six games. Um, now it looks like uh, six games um, is um, closer than um, anything else. Yeah, if Tampa can keep up the way they were playing in the last game, there is no way Islanders can climb up from this. And this, I think, was a little bit of a snap of the backbone of this very tough Islanders team. But when you lose this heavily in this game, that is the, probably the most important in the series, considering the number swing, um, it is very hard from, from hard to climb back from this sort of situation. So Tampa has definitely the big, big upper hand in this series. Yeah. Uh, Tampa has shown that um, whenever they need to play best, uh, they can do it. But then when they don't need to get 100%, they can also play somewhere between 80 and 90. So it's interesting to see if they think that game six is the game when they need to do their best. Yeah, they like to keep it interesting. It's good for us, of course. More games, more fun. Uh, tonight um, there is a game five in Vegas. Um, Vegas and Montreal play there. We have uh, picks uh, for that one naturally as well. Uh, Vegas is a uh, clear favorite by the bookmakers as well as um, in our simulation. The odds are beyond poor, but uh, it still shows some value. So when you have only one game, it's um, very easy to pick the value bet here. Um, from the player props, um, also linked to this Vegas uh, big dominance in this game. Nick Suzuki in Montreal um, won't uh, score. He will have a, a field glass uh, results and uh, then we would uh, think that uh, there would be more goal score and point score naturally from Vegas than uh, Montreal in this game. Yeah, very similar sort of situation as we had with Tampa Bay and Islanders in this semifinal. Uh, Vegas, the clear favorites to start the series. Montreal fighting back. Um, the last game was won by Vegas after the overtime, so that's different from that Tampa Bay, uh, New York series. But otherwise, when going back to Vegas, Vegas is the team that now has all the keys in their hands. They have to play as well as Tampa did, uh, and I do think that they can. Now they uh, have already had their uh, unlucky bounces by the goaltender. They've had some unlucky um, shooting a lot of posts and not scoring goals when they should have. I think that will be over and Vegas will take this game, uh, take the lead in the series again and, and get the, the chance to cut it in the next game. Um, therefore, also Nick Suzuki, one of the better players for Montreal, but uh, we do expect Montreal only to score maximum of two goals. So 
Suzuki probably not going to get any points. Uh, percentage is 60% for Suzuki not to score a point. Uh, and for Vegas, we have over 70% chance to win this game. So very clear picks, but like you mentioned, not the best value, but what can you do? There is only one game, so let's go with these and hope for some green tomorrow. Yeah, uh, while in Finland we have a, a upper 90s as a temperature, it's always good to keep your keep your bean on when uh, uh, your team is playing, or at least this time Vegas that uh, we think um, is going to win this game. It's a, it's a hot team, so it has to be a hot head as well. Exactly. Tonight we'll see how hot Vegas is, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, further analysis. See you tomorrow.